Well, first of all, I see Gladdy. Good to see you. Um, last year we had a ball at City Hall. And so um, I'm still glad that you all are hosting this event because uh, it is so important. Um, I grew up, as many of you know, in San Francisco. And uh, my first job, I think I told you about it last year, I was a handful. Like, I didn't know how to dress. I didn't know how to answer the phone. I didn't know what to do. Um, I was really fortunate, though, because uh, even though I didn't show up on time, even though I had my cutoff jeans and my see-through shirt and I didn't answer the phone like I should have, the people that I worked with, they didn't give up on me. They didn't see me as a, a problem. They saw me and they thought, this girl has potential and we're going to work with her to help her develop and to grow. Um, so I was really lucky because that really started my journey. I was 14 years old and before that I was babysitting, I was carrying people's groceries, I was cleaning houses, I was doing all these things because, you know, my family was really poor. And most of the people that I grew up with, they were out stealing, they were out selling drugs, they were out doing a lot of illegal activities that sadly land them in juvenile hall in San Francisco. Uh, and it could have been a lot different for me. And the fact that I had an opportunity where I was able to uh, participate in an internship and actually make money to take care of myself and not be a burden on my grandmother, that's really what made the difference. But it wasn't just about getting paid, it was about the experience. And as I said, when I showed up at this place called the family school that helped to train women over 18 to get their GEDs, I, first thing I did was I answered the phone. I was like, hello, who you looking for? What do you want? And then I didn't put the phone on hold and I screamed out the person's name. Like it was just what you don't do in a job site. And what I learned, they made me write out a script. They explained to me why I needed to answer the phone like this. Hi, this is London Bree. Thank you for calling the family school. How may I help you? Now I said that so many times that clearly I memorized it. Um, but it really set up a path for me. It set up an opportunity uh, for me to not just work at this job, but other jobs. Uh, I have, since age 14, I have not been without a job or with an without an opportunity. Uh, and like many organizations, you know, Enterprise for Youth, uh, it has been just, you know, a challenging time, we know, because I think what happens with uh, our, our, uh, investments, we forget that we need to do more to invest in young people. Uh, back when I was a kid, it seemed like there were a lot of invest investments. There was a lot of support. And, <laughs> and uh, what, I, what I appreciate is uh, that last year, Enterprise for Youth partnered with the city in a program that I helped launch, Opportunities for All. I, I launched the program Opportunities for All because uh, of my own personal experiences. And what the difference was, me, I'm mayor. But sadly, there were a lot of other kids that I grew up with that were not a part of internships as young people and chose a different path. The whole point of why I started Opportunities for All is because I never wanted money to be a barrier to an experience. I never wanted money to get in the way of a bright future of someone who could be the next chemist or uh, a, an engineer or someone who wants to start their own business or start a company like a Salesforce or become mayor for that matter. Because if I had not had this opportunity, I don't know what I would have chosen to do and where I would be. If I didn't have people who invested in me and believed in me and supported me, I don't know where I would be. So the fact that Gladdy had a vision decades ago to start this organization because she saw a void demonstrates her understanding that there is a need and we can't take for granted that every young person has access to something like this, an experience like this. Uh, this experience changed my life because so many people in my community, as I said, and even in my own personal family, you know, my brother, he's still incarcerated. 
I lost a sister to a drug overdose. And in fact, my grandmother raised me in public housing. And I lived in public housing for over 20 years of my life because we were poor. I was lucky to go to college. I was lucky that there were so many people that invested in me and supported me. And so that summer job that I started at age 14, the family school, the people at the family school liked me so much that they figured out a way to find money to be able to pay me year round. So I would catch the 22 Fillmore from Galileo, I get a Galileo High School, the 30 Stockton to the 22 Fillmore, the 22 Fillmore to Fillmore and Oak. And I would go there every day after school. They made sure that I did my homework, but they also made sure that I developed skills in a work environment. And, and that was really something that made a difference for me. And so what I say is this is an opportunity because there are a lot of young people who may not have this opportunity, but you all have this opportunity and I don't want you to waste it. I just feel so strongly that anybody that is young and courageous can do anything they want to do, no matter what your circumstances are, no matter what environment you live in. I was surrounded by drugs and gun violence and hopelessness and stress. I was surrounded by things that I, most people probably wouldn't even believe some of the stories if I told you, you know, about my family and the environment and the situation. And I'm mayor of San Francisco. And let me tell you why. It's because of programs like this. It really is. It's because people like Gladdy, who said, okay, let me check on London and make sure she's okay. And she's picking, on the, picking up the phone and, 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 and saying, well, why did you talk back to that teacher? Or you know you need to go to school. You know you need to get your education. It was a bunch of people that I didn't even understand why they were so interested in dealing with a loud mouth, talkative, talk back kid with an attitude. But they did. And that's your opportunity here. I know things are a lot different. We're dealing with COVID. We're dealing with an uprising around racial injustice that has existed in this country since its founding and people demanding action like never before. You're not in school, you're not with your friends. And it sometimes could feel like, when will this end? When will things get better? The fact that we are here today, things are already better. I have so much hope for a better future. I never thought in my lifetime, and I'm sure everyone on this call never thought we'd be in the midst of a global pandemic. But we are, and you are the future. And we want you to take advantage of this opportunity. This is, this is an opportunity for you to learn, for you to grow, for you to develop skills, for you to decide to do right here, right now, what it is that you want. Is it to go to college? Is it to start your own company? Is it to be mayor? What is it you wanna do? And don't let anyone tell you what you can't do. If you feel it in your heart, if you put in the work to do that job, if you surround yourself with positive people, there is absolutely nothing you can't do. So I am so excited to be here, even though I wish I could see you all in person. I'm so grateful that this program has been doing this work for so many years and has not given up hope. I'm grateful to people who are a part of the board like Brent and others who are committed to making sure that they have the resources they need so that we're not turning young people away. And even as we face a $1.5 billion budget deficit here in San Francisco, I have made it clear to my team that we are not touching opportunities for all. We are not going to put the first thing on the chopping block we're not gonna make kids the first thing on the chopping block. Because if we don't invest in young people now, 
what kind of future are we going to have? When I say children are the future, I mean it. Because I was one of those children where someone invested in me, where someone supported me. Now it's my responsibility to do exactly that. And so this program, Enterprise for Youth, that was born in the living room of Gladi for the purposes of supporting and uplifting young people has taken on a whole new meaning and will continue to have my support through opportunities for all. And also, I still, I have a scholarship program, the Bridge to Excellence Scholarship Program for kids who are first in their families to go to college. I have a scholarship program because scholarships are what got me through. It was, it, it's amazing to be in a position now to do exactly what other people did for me. People that I don't even remember their names. There were so many people. So I want you to remember this moment and all the great things that people are doing to help support and uplift you. And I want you to do everything you can to make them proud. I'm already proud because you're showing up and you're doing the work and you clearly care about having a better and brighter future. So on behalf of the city, thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing out. Make sure you work hard to be successful in whatever you choose to do. Because I'm not gonna be mayor forever, so I need one of you to hurry up so you can take my place. Thank you all so much for having me here today. And for those of you who are supporting this amazing organization, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to support them. And I am doing everything I can to keep the city safe so that I can see you all in person at City Hall next year. Thanks everybody.